Alrighty. Hello, everyone. Oh, and I need to turn it off so I don't hear my voice because it's not a great sound to hear on voice. But yeah, we're really close to kicking off. I think the third match now of Sasu Roulette 2, which is Chrome X's event. Thanks for that, Maddie. Great to see you here. But yeah, we have Ashton and Infrafun. This is going to be a round one since we had kind of an odd number for this bracket. We are going to have uh, a couple of matches that take place before uh, round two. So I think it's just Ashton, Interfon, and then I think it's like Agent Cooper and Coates are taking place in round one. Then everything will stabilize once it gets to round two. Our spin will arrive very shortly. And for anybody who doesn't know as well, everything is going to be in suit. There's going to be some random complications rolled as well for each round. Uh, both players are live as well, so that is perfect. Give them both a quick refresh. Yeah, they have 47 minutes to finish a spin with the complication they have. And they will have sp specific kills they have to hit for both targets here on Sigale, which will be our first map. And it looks like we're about a minute away. I have everything prepared for the spin when it does go live. So I will turn on everything the moment that does happen. Yeah, we have a lot of maps today. We have some exciting ones uh, later on. Not the ones you'd usually see in Roulette, because of course there is extra ones allowed. And I am going to show what happens if you talk too much. And I recommend other people don't do that either. Yeah, we're about 45 seconds away. This is both our first appearances. And yeah, it's going to be interesting for Sigale, especially with these uh, builds that can show up. Could be really um, uh, difficult to deal with. And I really hope the streams don't buffer it today. They have been very bad for me about a week ago. Yeah, are we very close to going? 15 seconds. I'm going to get the timer ready. And we're going to have our first spin arriving very, very shortly. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we go. That'll be our first spin arriving for both players. They'll both be receiving this at the exact same time. So we will have Zoe Washington, pistol elimination, which is different to just shooting her with a pistol. You actually have to eliminate her from coming behind with the Q prompt. Sophia Washington has to be killed with a fall, which is pretty self-explanatory. And the complication for this round is going to be smuggle the loud sniper rifle instead. So if anybody was planning on doing a quick uh, shot onto the money pit, that's kind of at the window unless you want to risk the loud bullets. But two guards beneath you is going to be a bit of an annoying thing to deal with. I'll also get some audio for both. Hopefully they have some generous audio coming through for me. And I will turn it on as well, just so I can hear it. But they are going to be starting off very quickly. And this is first to finish. There is no coming back and trying to get better time. This is just first person out correctly. And I really hope these embeds aren't going to be super annoying. Apologies if they do stutter for a minute, but they will stabilize very shortly. Chapel would be very difficult to do because of the fact money pill would be difficult to shoot with a loud pistol. Oh, and I apologize now for these embeds being so laggy. It's not usually like this. And here we go. Ashton is going for the chapel start, whereas Inverfund is actually going for the keep start, which does seem to be a popular beginning for a lot of players, especially if, if you have to start suit, which you do in Sasso or that. I'm definitely going to be interested to see the approaches here. Both players kind of realize they can't do the money pit. Ashton, however, could do it by getting MOC and triggering the convo, which he might just do. And interesting approach here from Ashton. Wow. Ashton getting up that pipe barely. Wow. I haven't seen this pipe used in such a long time. Yeah, very nice uh, knowledge there from Ashton. Might even get Sophia really quickly with this fall kill 
This would be insane to see. And wow, this is super impressive right now from Ashton. If he can get this kill really quickly, this would be insane to get. And am I mistaken or is that the wrong kill on the wrong target for Ashton? And that's so unfortunate for Ashton. It's such an amazing strategy. He will be able to try that again and the fall kill will still work out for him. But oh, so close from an insanely good introduction for Ashton there. Super unfortunate, but he's straight back in. Quit waiting for Infra Fun though. He's going for this radio room. This is a pretty okay way to get a uh, fall kill. However, if you dump her at this window, she won't actually die. So if Infra Fun remembers to actually push her out the window, then her body won't make as much of a noise. And I think we're actually going to see Infra Fun use this, will he? Oh my god. Clarification, if he throws something against the window to push her, the body won't make a sound as it hits the ground, and I actually found this not too long ago and shared it with a couple of people, and I'd love to think that Infrafun learned this from me, because this is the only way to get her to silently fall out this window, which I'd love to see from Infrafun. Let's see how this works out for him. How's the radio investigation to end? Oh, and look at this from Infrafun. I love it. Now, this first one won't kill her. She will be shocked at the coin. But he will be able to get this pacify push. And that body will hit the floor, but nobody will hear it because of the fact she was alive, which just is amazing. And we're going to see this quick drag over to the ledge. It's going to be a quick fall kill for Infra Fun. Done. First kill correctly of the match. Rider player. Meanwhile, Ashton's back up to where he was, and we're going to see his really nice fall kill as well, straight out this window. Infra Fun boxes up Sophia just for safekeeping. Definitely a good call does have to get back to the MOC room, which is probably where we're going to see the pistol elimination take place. Meanwhile though, Ashton goes for the subdue on to Sophia as well. Bit of a drag to this window, but I don't think anybody will see this. Yeah, very hard to say who's uh, in the lead right now. Ashton probably knocked out the MOC and dealt with a couple of things, so it's really close right now once he gets down this pipe. Nice peekaboo from in for fun there to get the custodian I believe into the corner and yes that is exactly it I should have a bit of trouble getting down oh and that's unfortunate for and for fun I think he tried to throw a second knockout item but it accidentally hit the knocked out body for a second time you know, Ashton, when he was trying to get down from that pipe, did cause an unfortunate uh, panic and Infrafon actually rips because that MOC finally turns around. But the tides have turned again now for Ashton, who can get into this MOC room if he just plays it patiently. Now let's see. Infrafon sticking with the same start. Didn't take him too long to get all the way back. And there we go. Ashton going for the run. Does get a bit of a whoosh. Might hook onto somebody. But he manages to get back over to the room. Looking pretty good now for Ashton. Does have one body knocked out, which is probably the more important one. The MLC who can trigger the call. Nice coin there. Ashton nearly picks up the screwdriver and knocks out the guard with the screwdriver, which would have been a bit of a painful knockout for him. But he does get both the knockouts uh, correctly this time, and he can box those bodies. We're probably going to see him plan the MOC and then trigger that. Then we just have a bit of a waiting game for him, and he has an exit so close. Luckily, can bring a silenced pistol due to the complication. It's just a bit of waiting now. He does have to hit this money pit shot, which he gets first try, which is very important to get. If you have to do three shots on that, then you're not looking too good. But yeah, now just a waiting game for Ashton, who is going to head down. Not too sure why he'd head down. Maybe to get a wrench? 
It's surprising there from Ashton Miwa in for fun. Hits that radio timing perfectly. Oh, and Ashton's actually going for the pistol elimination outside. So he doesn't want to deal with that guard who will be very close by. I don't see this too often, so I can't say what could go wrong, but I do feel like a couple of bullets can go around the place if you do a pistol elimination. Can be a bit scary, if I'm not mistaken. Meanwhile, you get to see this really nice kill from Interfan. Pacify out the window. If there was any chance for Interfan to catch up, it would definitely be required that Ashton doesn't get this kill. Here we go, moment of true now for Ashton. I don't like that these people are still here. They haven't been proxied. So it can be a bit scary. There's a kill again for Interfan, who isn't too far behind right now, to be honest. Oh, the double knockout for Ashton. A little bit scary. That is the kill from Ashton. Keeps green guns. I don't think I saw any investigations. But he still has to get out. And he is trespassing until he gets down these stairs. Bit of whoosh, but... Not as scary as I thought. And it looks like Ashton's going to be the first person to take a point in this match. Or points, even. Interfun's so close and unfortunately had that MOC turn around, but... That is going to be Ashton taking the point. As long as those green guns stay till the exit. Because he is going for a further one. Let's see if Ashton can verify that for us. Yeah, fortunate friend for fun. So close to being able to pull off this ending. Oh, and just rips again. Super unfortunate friend for fun, but that pretty much cements it. So Ashton will be taking the first two points, I believe. I do believe it's two. I am confusing myself with other points, but... You get the gist. Two points, one point, so it will be the same. Yeah, GG's to Ashton with that. Very nice kill. I love the kill on Sophia. Both players are very nice kill, to be fair, but Ashton did play the patience game when trying to get back in and dealt with the knockouts in the room really nicely. And that will be the first two points for Ashton, and we'll be moving to our next map very shortly. I will hide all of this in complication and timer. And I will very shortly hear this next spin. And if you're wondering what map we are moving to, we are going to be moving to the lovely city of New York. Could say Interfun's home ground. I do know Ashen's an advocate for scale as well, himself in Red Fox, so you could classify that that was Ashen's home ground and this is Interfun's home ground. But who knows? All right, and I am going to get these complications ready behind the scenes. That looks good. All righty, so I'm going to change this. For anyone I'm typing, it's Athena Savalas. Barbarazer as the shaman. Yeah, I think that should be good. Alrighty, I think we are good. And not too sure what time we're starting at. Alright, one moment. Robot arms to Maelstrom. That would be a fire kill. 
Okay, and then just got a clarification start in two and a half minutes. Yeah, good lead for Ashton going into the first map. Taking scale, very nice kill. Would have been out so quick if that uh, unfortunate misread on the spin didn't happen for him. This is Interfun's chance to redeem himself now for this next one. Gonna type out Athena's full name when I'm waiting. Because why not? He deserves it. Alright, and I think we're good then. I should get some predictions up. Not, uh, I'm sure many people want to, but what harm, right? Alright, to prediction. We'll win. New York. That was very nice from Interfun, by the way. Just caught it there. Bullet panic to get the guy to move over as well. Ashton. Interfun. And I'll put a tie in, but I do not expect a tie, so if you put money on it, that'll be the best decision of your life. Or the stupidest. Put it for one minute because we are about one minute away on this New York. Slow feet above. Great message to see you in the comedic prediction. Yeah, this will be interesting to see. Uh, pretty much a Sasso approach for New York, which has been practiced by a lot of speedrunners, of course. You want to try get both those discs on the way up. Ideally, if there's a weapon you need to pick up, you also want to get that on the way up. Backtracking is just not ideal on this map because the CEO exit so close. You could get Fabian last, but it actually can lose you a tiny bit of time. <laughs> Any gamblers in chat? Okay, how close are we to the spin? 15 seconds away. Just as in for fun rips. Intentionally, of course. Alrighty, and we are 5 seconds away. 3, 2, one and here we go so we are gonna have Tina Savalas screwdriver kill in the suit of course and luckily no complication this round so this is gonna be a very quick one I think this is pretty much just sasso routing but you got to pick up a screwdriver on the way which there is a couple of there is one over by Ruby Red the reporter right behind that little poster board there is one upstairs by the two guards uh, at the first point before Fabian there's a couple of options I'm going to open my notes here just because I'd love to know what other ones there is potentially to grab. Yeah, under the Fabian Frisk is a good one, but I also think the one by the reporter is going to be a very, very good one to grab here. Yeah, let me check my little notes here. So we have screwdriver in front of Fabian, guards, left of default. It's locked though, so I think that's in by uh, Bob Ross, where the briefcase is. Also in the vault, near the vault, and one by the reporter girl. The yeah, Ashen looking good. Already has Mateo in this room. Love this knockout. I think we saw this from Intra Fun as well. That's one disc down already. That's the first data disc secured. Both players going for a pretty similar option right now. Huh. Strange. You know, Ashen is actually going for the screwdriver that's in here, I believe. Lovely timing from Ashen. And yeah, this one right here by the briefcase. Or the propane, even. We grabbed very quickly and looking really good for Ashton right now, I have to say. That screwdriver worked out really nicely for the routing. Yeah, he is zooming through. Let's pick up a newspaper. I'm going to throw a coin. Just for the ease of access. Lovely triple shot there from Infofan. Worth noting, Infofan doesn't have camera problems, however, Ashton does have a sniper rifle, so he doesn't have to worry about the cameras either. Both players do have pistols, so they don't have to be too bossy. And look at that. Distraction for Fabian on the stairs from Ashton as well, keeping him there. This is really nice from Ashton at the moment. Infofan just barely tailing behind. 
but very close right now. If Infamon can get this Fabian knockout, he'll be looking really good. Does have to shoot the cams, I think. Doesn't actually get Fabian, I don't think. He's too far gone. We'll have to get him later. Now Ashton is in the office. If we are to see a rip in New York, I do think this is the room we can see a tree guard and a target. Of course, a target can see anything, but if the guard sees something, then it's going to be game over for Ashton. Ooh, and Ashton going for the, the slower office approach, which does give Interfan time to come back just a little bit. Now, does Interfan have a trank? I don't know if we saw a trank on him. No, we did not. But Ashton does get the first two guards, which is probably the hardest part of dealing with the uh, office. A tiny bit of a waiting game here for uh, Ashton, which could cause some rips. Looks like Infrafun's going for a similar approach, however. And yeah, just look at that knowledge from Ashton. He knew the guard would turn around the way he uh, shot that door open. And quite honestly, clinical from Ashton with that uh, office clear out. Infrafun, again, just so close behind, but I don't think there's any chance of a rip here for Ashton. Of course, Interfun doesn't have Fabian's disc, which makes it even tougher for Fovinch to happen, I would assume. Very nice for Ashton. 325 on the clock. Infrafun could possibly get a photo finish, but I just can't see it even being viable because of the fact that he still has to get Fabian's disc, unfortunately. Yeah, very nice from Mr. Kobold. Who's going to be taking the next two points for this match. Who is steaming through it right now, to be quite honest. That is four points on the board. Yeah, I think we will wait out this little... Possible photo finish from Interfund, but I already think the threshold has passed. And yeah, Fabian's even going to wait for a conversation, so even tougher now for Fun to uh, finish this spin off. And I think with that, I will hide our lovely timer spin and our complications and get those ready for the next spin in which I can announce that the next map is going to be a house built on sand, the Marrakesh variant. Nighttime Marrakesh, which is a very interesting uh, map. There's two targets on that one. Yeah, I always want to call it a boss because of the acronym. Yeah, it's a very um, interesting map. I really like this map. It has such a nice vibe to it. It really did a good job of like making it feel like a variant of Marrakesh. So I gotta commend them on that. Now it looks like we have our next spin. I can prepare. Alright. Objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. And I will also pay at that prediction in just a moment. All you gamblers in chat. And next spin will arrive in about two and a half minutes as well, 24 past the hour. I'm going to quickly prepare everything to look as nice as I can. Alright, I think we're good. I don't think I see any spelling mistakes. Yeah, looks pretty good, at least from my end. 
So we're really close to this next spin. Ashton's running away with it right now, to be quite honest. Fun still has a chance to uh, come back, of course. We do have deciders as well. But Interfun would definitely need a win here on House Built of Sand to have any chance of coming back. Of course, he won't be out for good. He will be moving down to the lower bracket. As we see very uh, commonly in these corny style events. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see uh, the practice approaches here for all the players because it's not a very common map. You only see this map really played in like bonus royale events or in Providence events where you have to uh, probably learn the new ones. Like Hawks Bay, all those can't show up in these, so you really got to put in the outside practice for this because it's not going to fall in your lap. And of course on this map, we do have a target who's also located in the actual uh, cafe, the kind of club, if you will. So it's going to be fun to see their approaches and how to infiltrate that. Get an invite, you can find a disguise, lockpick your way in, uh, get an invitation, multiple approaches. So it would be interesting. I'll pay the prediction as well. Pay the prediction after I announce the spin, because we're about 15 seconds away. And both players will have received their spin. And I'm very excited for this one, because this one looks like it's going to be uh, quite difficult and for a reason other than what you'd expect okay so i will start the timer we have kong two quang sniper rifle and mateo mandola drowning so this is gonna be very interesting when drowning is gonna be fun but the complication however for this one is you can't hit that instinct button you're gonna have to fight every bone in your body i'd almost go into options and turn it off to be quite honest because you are gonna tap it they better know where their targets are, or what they look like. I'm definitely intrigued to see um, if we get any mistakes here. Yeah, I would unbind the two, Scruffy, 100%. I just don't trust myself enough to not press it. It's just, it's like breeding at this point in Hitman, because... And there we see Ashton's already pressed it. He's literally looking around to see where the targets are with his instinct. And I'm not too sure, but I just assume that's a possible restart for Ashton based on the fact that he pressed it. Welcome to and is it for fun unbinding it? Exactly, this is what you need to do. Ashton is wasting precious time right now by pressing it, and he's probably gotten that message from Chrome or Admin. He needs to unbind it. But the lead is already in Infrafun's favor. Wow, look at this from Infrafun. I don't know enough about um, As Built on Sand to know that that medic actually will get. I'm guessing Kong to go to a bathroom. Or, sorry, Mateo to go to a bathroom. So of course, that would be for the drowning kill. Yeah, really nice knowledge from Infrafun there. I really like that. Oh, and just a bit too late putting away that sniper in for fun. That's going to give the lead back to Ashton. Both players now aren't going to press the instinct because of the fact they don't have a bound anymore, so it's literally impossible for them to press it. But depending on the approaches here, they're still within 20-something seconds of each other, but 28 seconds. If we see a nice little approach here from Ashton, we could definitely see... Uh... Oh yeah, of course, prediction. Apologies about that. Hey, though, but... I will pay out the last round. And yeah, we'll try to get a prediction up for the next one. Yeah, Ashton heading up the pipe now, which you'd commonly see for... There's a handyman disguise up here. I assume it's still here in the... Uh, has built on sand variant. There is also a smuggle up here, which is vital for Ashton. Interfront running past the guard. Really nice there. Oh, it's not there, the handyman. That's really good to know. Now what I'm going to see from in for fun, I see him knocking at the guard. There is of course a phone you can get when you're up here, which you can call a walkie talkie even. That'll be really good for getting the sniper rifle kill onto Khan. Well Ashton got an invite when he was up there, so he's allowed to head into this little bar area, which can be quite tough to get into if you don't have the right disguise, lockpick, 
or invitation. We dealt with that very nicely. And what's the approach we're going to see here from Ashton? He has a coin trail lined up. Oh my god. And if fun grabs that body, Spider-Man style, falling off the building. By his pinky toe, save him from getting a rip there. That was so much closer than I'm sure he wanted it to be. Look at this from Ashton. Nice little coin trail to bring. I get straight into the bathroom. Are we going to see a non medic Yeah. That was unfortunate for Ashton. Bullets straight through the dome, but no effect on him. He does get the kill. Now, Mateo should be at the bathroom. I would have assumed outside, but... Didn't we see Ashton using the medic syringe at the beginning? I think Ashton realizes he's gone somewhere completely different. And he's gone to this building over there, and that's going to be a restart for Ashton. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Maybe the medic wore off. Maybe he went to a different bathroom he's never seen before, but that's a big rip for Ashton because he has no way to get him to a toilet now. Yeah, exactly, Chrome. Luckily, a bullet, sh a bullet panic even doesn't um, fully alert um, all the authorities, even when they're not in the same room. Ooh, scary for for fun there. That is the sniper rifle kill, then for fun. Seems to be a favorite kill for both players to do first. Quick rip for Ashton again, just extending that three minute lead for fun now. There's one kill left on his belt to get, which you could say is the tougher one. But, however, we did see that food get poisoned very early on for fun in the marketplace. And would you believe it or not, he's already in the bathroom. This kill is literally just presenting itself here for him. Hopefully he's not too, just a bit too late. Ah, oh, that's just beautiful from in for fun. The knowledge applied there. Definitely have to look into that food myself, but that is absolutely um, beautiful. There's the documents as well for in for fun. And he's going to be running to the exit. Possibly starting the beginning of this reverse sweep. That body got found very quickly, but of course, drowning is an accident. So as many people as he wants can spot that body. That's going to be Infrafun taking the bonus mission, has built on sand. Yeah, very nice from uh, Infrafun there. Unfortunate for Ashton with that uh, emetic syringe. Maybe just didn't last as long as, long as he wanted. Or it didn't kick in some scenario, but nonetheless, really nice approach from both. Nice PB as well for Infrafun. Definitely a mission we don't play often, and I don't think... Oh, look at this for Ashton. <laughs> his smuggle ended up on the airport shop roof as well. Definitely not his map. But that will be two points going over to Infrafun. Who could bring this back to a 4-4 and make this a very interesting match. I'm really excited to see what we got for this next one. I am again going to hide everything. I'll get the prediction ready for this next one. Apologies for not having it for that last one. And I will wait until a little bit closer, or I'll actually just get my map now. We will be moving to the lovely city of Mumbai. As you can see by Ashton's loading screen. We'll get this prediction ready. Mumbai, Ashton, Infrafun, Thai. About the five minutes, but I will cut it short because we are probably less than five minutes away. There we go, and I will get spin number four ready. Alrighty, and let me get this stuff up. Alrighty. You believe in for fun is having a combat arc, so I gotta believe in them. Yeah, it's we've seen it time and time again. Players coming back from the brink of defeat. I'm gonna turn down that music. Come to somebody's stream. Good song though. Couldn't put my finger on what song it was, but 
it's a bop. I'll give it that. All right, I'm just getting these last couple of spins. Uh, targets typed in. That's an interesting one, Dawa Dragon Fish as Bohemian, but the players will figure it out. Alrighty, so looks like they are all prepared. Perfect, and we'll be arriving at 35, so still have a minute and a half. I'll to get my complication ready. And I will tell you, we have a unique complication coming up for this one. Which is going to be interesting to see. We haven't seen it yet. I think every complication has been unique. And there's probably even a rule. I'm sure Chrome can correct me. That can the same complications come up in the same match? Could just be a coincidence. I haven't seen them at the times I've watched. But I suppose they are random. And then we'll get ready to end the prediction. Once this spin arrives in about a minute and a half. They can shop again? That's good to know. It's going to be interesting to see what we get. There's a 10% chance for each one. That is good to know. We really could get anything. <laughs> and don't forget to get your uh, prediction in. You have about 40 seconds left. If you want to show your support to Ashton or Infrafun. Ashton did take the first few maps, but Infrafun is coming back. Took the final map, which can put a bit of a bit of fear into either player. Oh, I see, Chrome. Perfect. Makes sense. Interesting approach here for Ashton to get this barber, but we are 15 seconds away. I'm very excited for this one again. Alrighty, and I get this prediction ready to stop. Alrighty, and we have our spin, and it's going to be uh, Vazir Kale, pistol elimination, that is the Maelstrom, so you have to eliminate him from behind with a pistol using the Q prompt. Vanya Shah, Barber Razor, and Dao Dragon Pistol, so you can't share that pistol, but our complication is going to be you can't get clipped by those red or yellow guns. So if the target sees you knock him out, you might be able to save it, but you can't save it in terms of this that's over that complication. You can't get clipped by a camera either, and that doesn't mean you can get the cams. I'm pretty sure that means if you get clipped, you're restarting, so better shoot those cams and be safe with your trolls and your cues. And both players are going to have to turn back on that instinct, which they probably forgot about. And I will just slightly move down this Dao Dragon and this Fan Yin Sha. Give them a little bit of breathing room. And let's see what approaches we get for either one. You can get this Maelstrom kill really quickly. Which I do hope we'll see from uh, in for fun here. Now I do think you're gonna have to wait just a little bit because that holy man can hear it, especially since it's a pistol elimination. We got no stray bullets coming out for in for fun, so that's gonna be the maelstrom kill down almost instantly. Next step for either player, it looks like Ashen's gonna get this maelstrom kill perhaps, but it's gonna be a bit more difficult. In for fun, however, is probably gonna go for that barber razor. Which is luckily right next to Skywalk Star. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins, and will be nice pistol shot there. I suggest that you are mindful around them in the slums. Oh, lovely from. Oh, an unfortunate friend for fun. He knew the minute he knocked out that barber's wife. The barb her. Yeah, super unfortunate for him for fun, but he's going to be straight back in. He does have the advantage of having that Maelstrom kill really quickly, whereas Ashton is just trying to get out of this laneway, I think. You really do get stuck between a rock and a hard place, because they literally will gatekeep you inside of there. Oh, and there's a rip for Ashton anyway. 
bit too impatient and wanted to distract the guard, but getting out of there was just a pain. Because once you go there, they go to trigger a convo. If you leave, he'll leave. If you go back, the convo gets triggered again. So it looks like the game's just trolling you at that point. That is a safe Maelstrom kill again. Very in for fun. He's going to box the Maelstrom. Hopefully we see a safer kill here now for, uh, or not kill friend for fun, Barber Razor friend for fun. I am surprised we see um, Ashton going for the Barber Razor first because it does make the Maelstrom a whole trek. I say I do love that approach from Ashton with the briefcase at the doorway. Makes it very safe to get in. Oh, and very risky timing there for Interfun, but does get it. And I always do wonder, and I'm sure somebody in chat can tell me, I even don't know myself, do you have to box the barber and the barber's wife? I assume the barber's wife. I wouldn't imagine anybody else comes in here if the doors don't get opened. Nonetheless, Interfun is moving on. He does have a kill down and the only lethal melee required for this spin. Which is the Barber Razor. Now it's just going to be pretty much, I think, Brick. No one goes there? Yeah, that's... I did figure um, Chrome, but you just see a lot of people boxing. I would box myself, and it's one thing I wouldn't test. Now, this is scary for fun. These guards are honestly brutal when it comes to uh, the streets and getting past them, and the Crowd blending in is just absolutely um, abysmal sometimes to uh, deal with. But massive lead, I would say, for Interfun, based on the fact that he has the Maelstrom down. Probably going to see Ashton get the Maelstrom up on the hill, which just got triggered, the flag. The Maelstrom will be working his way up there now. Of course, these last two kills you could expect in... Uh, any ruler rivals, so there's nothing too crazy, but of course, no cams, and Vanya can't see anything go on, even if they see a dead body. If, it, if Vanya sees it, they have to uh, restart because no guns can show up other than green in that bottom left corner for them. We're going to see a bit of variation here, whereas Ashton's going to go up to the Maelstrom's house. Has to get him up here because back has been raised. Bad timing on that tug as well. I don't like distraction shots here, but does get away with it. Wait. Yeah, Interfun is on a timer now. Because he did throw that brick in. Or even swirled it in, you could say. Because he did use the prompt rather than actually throwing it. So he is going to have both the targets down very shortly. It's going to be very interesting to see this um, the snail approach. Or uh, Dawood, because if a single target doesn't get hit by, or a single guard doesn't get hit by the snail, they've got to uh, make sure they don't do knockouts. They can't knock him out and leave Dawood see it. They have to be really careful, more so than ever. You now, Ashen's really trying hard to get this uh, Maelstrom kill, but the Maelstrom does leave. Might get a peekaboo here. Scary there, friend, for fun. We're going to see the Barber Razor kill very soon. Goes for the throw. Of course he can. Oh my. Ashton with the massive whoosh. I see a nice pistol kill here for Ashton. Might be a bit scared of that elite tug, but he can go for the kill now. Through the little gaps in the fence. Of course he has to go for pistol elimination, so he can't even do that. There's the kill for Ashton. Very nice. I don't think anybody heard anything. Meanwhile, Infofun, after getting that Vandy kill, is going to move over now to the boathouse. Didn't grab his smuggle, however, in that homeless tent, which I assume would have been a snail. I am a tiny bit worried here. And what approach are we going to see here from? Funny, can't change this, guys. Oh, snail is not allowed, of course. Thank you, Chrome. These rules do go over my head sometimes. But I am curious what that smuggle was for, uh, in for fun. 
Looks like he's just going to go for the usual side of the house lore over and over, which can bring all the guards in one by one. Once they see that weapon. See Ashton doing the brick now? Please on a timer as well. Well, that caused a pillar of purple smoke to rise. Maybe it was Fibor. We could have just seen a quick plan from Interfan. I was a tiny bit hesitant to uh, spend too long planning. There we go. First weapon placed down by Interfan. Did you get a bit of whoosh there from the tug up by the boat? Nice knockout there for Ashton. Always is a bit scary. What button does Ashton have as drag? Is that tab? It's a unique button um, assignment. No shame at all in any variation on button assignments at all, but definitely a unique one. That would did spawn that first weapon for, for fun, so that's going to be guard number one. I would be scared about them coming through the house, but he has Greetings. brought them down to the stairwell. Ashman going for this train yard knockout that we see very often for Vanya. Is Vanya he is very far along, so it could be scary with the metal worker. Barber Razor Tro. And we're going to see a bit of dragging here from Ashton. We will, because that can be scary. Even that Queen's Guard is going to be a bit uh, sketchy. There's a knockout for Interfun. No, when Interfun pokes his head out a bit too much to place the weapon, and he rips. Oh, and that, that super hurts and <laughs> gets the propane as well. Wow, that's really sad for Interfun there. Couldn't get the weapon placement, unfortunately. And that definitely gives Ashton a massive lead here now for this. He does need the downward kill as well, but just as we saw, this could go just as wrong. Now, I would love to see, there is a lot of other approaches you could do here. There's some pistol shots you can do to separate that one and his guards. You could even see um, some interesting like weapon stopping or, I don't know be really nice to see. Yeah, I think Barge Iso would be really nice to see a Chrome, but of course. Just because we may be comfortable doesn't mean the other two players feel like it, so looks like Ashen is going to go for the later one again. Although Ashen is known for his somewhat crazy approaches, just like Red Fox. We could see something crazy here. And what are we going to get? If I'm going for that corner shot again. Oh, it's so unlucky for for fun. Almost got that knockout, but the barber turned around just too quickly. I'm really curious what Ashton's going for here. Check that out. Let's get the guard on the hook. He's actually going to come through the house. Which is interesting. Was that on purpose so he could get in without doing the generator? Because that would be very interesting. Worth noting now, a single mistake here from Ashton. We'll re redo eight minutes of the spin, so. Oh, and that's why you wait just a little bit. And fun gets caught by the Holy Man doing the pistol elimination, which is louder than you think for a silenced weapon. Dow would actually going for now won't the guards follow is my question or is he going to knock all of them out one by one Hello. I think we're going to see that yeah he's going to keep Dow on the hook just a little bit longer than usual oh and Ashen got red guns for a split second. That's a restart. That's so agonizingly painful for Ashton, but that is the rules. <laughs> he got that guard scene in the last possible frame before killing Dawood. And Ashton is aware of the rules, so that is going to be a restart. Very unforgiving, but I got to 
give props to Ashton for instantly. I'd be raging, but yeah, it's very close again. Such a ruthless uh, con complication, but I honestly absolutely love it. Would not change it for a moment. That is the rules. We make it to Seahawks indeed. Oh, we have red guns for Infra Fun. Giving Ashton the lead again. However, Ashton doesn't get the Maelstrom that early, which could give Infra Fun a little bit of an edge coming back. Yeah, this is such an interesting spin right now. This complication is really spicy and I really do love it. And I hope that both the players are enjoying it too because this is really a test of um, of uh, their knowledge and their approaches for these targets. Uh, pistol elimination has to be, you have to go behind them and press Q, Zionical. So it's actually a separate animation. So it's like if you could throw a, an injected poison or if you could inject someone with the poison yourself. That's pretty much what the uh, elimination part means. Same if you ever see Lethal Melee or Contracts to say, um, throw an item or melee. Pretty much melee just means elimination. But yeah, it's a very interesting uh, way to spice up a lot of spins and Contracts. And I highly recommend them. Um... Oh, and I don't like this fun. You gotta knock out that lady quickly because, yeah, if you were to subdue her, she might see that body. Now Ashton is back up to the maelstrom. Again, though, my only issue with this is he has to do a lot of um, a lot of um, waiting here and peekabooing and dealing with guards because it's not easy. Whereas Infafon can just pick up a brick, go straight and do that, and he can pretty much be on his way to uh, taking this Mumbai again if he wants. Nice timing here for Infafon again. This tug is just so annoying. Right, there we go, Ashton hiding the body in the side. I think Ashton wants to speed it up just a tiny bit. But it's not looking good for him. He may be able to get this kill in here. Maelstrom is just arriving, so he actually might be able to save this. But I don't like the kill being done inside of this room, because that guard can hear things very easily. Especially a bullet. And this is the moment of truth for Ashton. And there's the rip. Red guns, gun in hand. Maelstrom insta-compromises you if he sees you with a weapon in there. Because that is his private quarters. So that's Ashton going back to the beginning again. He was honestly moments away from finishing this Mumbai. He can't help but feel bad. Oh, and in fun gets a frontal KO on the Queen's Guard. Both players heading straight back to the beginning again. Oh, super unfortunate for in fun. I could tell the breeder there for in fun, which is definitely a tactical one. This spin is definitely taking up total and both players. But little did I know, they're very neck and neck right now. And again, I have to say, Infrafun does have the faster approach by swapping these two beginning and um, kill and grab with little melee. So if either player keeps their patience, they can easily move on to this fifth map. We're going to see a lot of bumps here from Infrafun again because he needs to wait for that holy man to leave. With a little bit more. Oh, and he's really testing his luck. Ashton is going to be going all the way around again. I'm a little bit curious as to why Ashton goes all the way around, to be quite honest. Maybe he wants to grab a brick or he wants to get that lead pipe in the sewer kind of area. Or maybe he just doesn't like dealing with those uh, tugs that he had issues with in his first approach. Oh, and Infrafun scares me so bad with this barber grab uh, for his uh, razor. 
Really big pause here from Ashton. And he unpauses just as I call him out. Again, he's going to be going for the Maelstrom up in the hill. Pretty much a run back of what just happened a minute ago now. We're going to see both players getting to the point where they ripped at. Hopefully we see Ashton taking his time when entering the room this time around because Maelstrom cannot see that weapon in his hand or him in the room. And the absolute reliance on this crowd blending for in fun is so scary to me every time. Never like putting uh, the fate of a, of a match in uh, the game's hands. Ashley, meanwhile, he's back up to this tug. He's just inside the Maelstrom's quarters. Didn't see any variation from Ashton to make this a little bit safer for him. There is the door shot for Ashton. And there we go, Interfun has the break thrown in. So the timer has begun for him. Now, this is where Infrafun ripped on his previous attempt. I, I'm not a fan of going on top of this. Turns out it was nothing. Nothing at all. He does get it. The issue with that is when you're above them, you can get frontals, which is what happened to Infrafun. Some people like to go beside the guard, but it can feel even riskier, but... Regardless, he does get away with it. And what the hell is going on on Ashton's screen? Oh, it's an umbrella, of course. I guess I let myself in. However, here's the Maelstrom, and this is the moment of truth now for Ashton. If he can get this kill without any panic happening. I don't see any big bubble around that tug outside. That's going to be Ashton, I think, for the first time getting that Maelstrom kill. At least um, with green guns after the fact. I know he did get in his attempt with that one. My apologies. But this is interesting from actually getting a brick up here, which I don't see grabbed very often. Knocking out these train yard guards and Rima has never been so scary. Oh, it looks good. Very scary there for a moment. Rent for fun and get the value so early, I don't think you gotta worry about any dragging. Now it's just a race again back to the boathouse. In for fun, clearly in the lead, I would say right now, because Ashton is just throwing in the brick right now. No matter what, he has to wait for Vanya and Alwood. But we do see Ashton does have a nice wine lawyer approach for uh, Dawood. Could be honestly super fast. And give him the time necessary to catch up. Ashton does get both the Queen's Guards in the train yard dealt with. And yeah, I agree, Psyduck. You really do need need uh, nerves of steel for this. And the patience of steel, in my opinion. Nerves, honestly, I think just go out the window when you're just trying to finish the spin. Bit of prep work here for fun again. Hope we see in fun just using um just item lures for them to spot the weapon this time around rather than trying to place them because that does eliminate the, the risk he can do that. Ashton trying to get this Rima knockout really wants to keep her a little bit behind. But also wants to keep her a little bit closer so those two guards at the kind of frisk point don't do anything. And though Van is getting very far. Oh, and that's a risky corner to do it on oh wow luckily vanya didn't catch a glimpse of that queen queen's guard you're killing me in fun places the weapon now it is just a waiting game but again ashton has a really nice approach here for this style would kill And let's see what we get. Ashton arriving at the boathouse. 
Uh, his weapon number one, I think, going to be picked up and brought down to the basement. And there we go. Luckily, this scared isn't an enforcer as well, because of course, what the hell would he know about who lives in this boathouse? None of his business. Weapon number two is going to get placed. I love it. Really nice print for fun here. Just going to keep lowering him because that is the safest approach. And he can use that time. It's that with on the hook actually, which is a bit annoying, but he will report the weapon. To the guard who's just really close nearby. Oh, none of the guards report the weapon. And that worries me that a different guard has been called in because those two are preoccupied. Oh, this is scary now for uh friend for fun if he can speed this up a little bit it would be nice. Apology for this twitch buffer again. Very unforgiving today. Great question by Scruffy. Who is Dawood, to be fair? Do you think that was anything? Are, would you go check yet? Yeah. Here we go, Ashton. You get the first guard in the hook. Bit annoying. I think you have to get rid of this first guard because Dawood is just surrounded by uh, distraction listeners. Any apologies for this buffering here on the fun's end. I do think it's on my end, to be fair. But I will give Infrafun a refresh, nonetheless. Finally got a guard in the hook, though. Dagwood. That's a great name for him. Dagwood Ranan. One guard left now for Infrafun. Oh, and this is getting really close. Ashton does have this approach happening again. Both the guards lined up though. He needs one of them to walk forward. That was picking up the coin. That front will KO. And that's the kill for Ashton. And it looks like he's going to be out. And he's running to the exit. Just barely shy for in for fun. Oh, wow. That's so close. We may get a photo finish however. If in for fun can just get that one really quickly to the corner. And it's going to be really hard to say um, who would have this. I am assuming foot f our foot finish is a thing. I may be incorrect in saying that. Oh, an unfortunate for Infravon. He is he's the chain lord to get that one in, but I think it's just going to be a little bit too late for him. Not sure if he'd get within a photo finish, and if he does, it's going to be hella close. To be quite honest, both players quite a time-consuming uh, approach. After that would, but in front does get out just before the twenty-one minutes left on the clock. Yeah, wow, what a Mumbai! Definitely didn't expect it uh, to be as difficult as it was. We'll hold off on the prediction. Till I am fully certain who actually has taken it. Yeah, one of them on by wow. Really nice um variations in both players. And is that gonna be a GG's? Looks like it is. Yeah, that's going to be a 6-2 for uh, Ashton, which has been confirmed in the chat. And let me get that score updated.
Yeah, 62 to Ashton. Could have been really close to uh, a decider, I suppose. I do think we had an extra map decided just in case, right? Yeah, we had Hawks Bay also on the line. And a very possible decider could have been in Colorado. But yeah, GG's to both players. That was such a fun watch. And I honestly really enjoyed casting that. Really fun to see these variations on a roulette that we don't often see really challenges the players. And Red Fox scheduled a match. What? But yeah, with that, I will check the brackets, Jay. Hopefully are updated room. I will check anyway, but if not, I will. Give them a quick refresh. Also, I hope I have some filters on this mic. I do. Alrighty. Let's see what these brackets look like. So we have, there we go, Ashton, six points against Interfunds, two, and he'll be moving on, and he'll be playing against Camel. Very soon, I would assume. We had a match not too long ago, Joker and Yanini, 6-4. And then Soviet Dubov against Effie, 6-0. Oh, the two of them moving on. So we currently have Interfan, Effie, and Yanini in the lower bracket, but they are not out. We've seen it time and time again. That's what these lower brackets are for. And sometimes the stress kind of gets taken off your shoulders when you get pushed down. So I'm sure we're not going to see any end to uh, Interfan, Effie, or Yanini anytime soon. So definitely keep an eye on those. And in terms of matches that are organized, I assume we're going to have a couple more soon, but keep an eye on the thread that is in Community Announcements, Sasso Roulette 2, which Chrome and a lot of other uh, casters and players are in. Oh, and I get to see, oh, I get to see these spins that we would have had for the next two maps as well, which I might just share with G. I hope Chrome was okay with. So we were going to have Hawks Bay, and the complication was going to be no brute force against doors. So you're never allowed to shoot a door open, which wouldn't be too bad on that map, and the kill was a pistol. Whereas for Colorado, we were going to have the complication of a forced starting point, and that was going to be West Bridge. Then we had Sean Rose with a pistol, Penelope with a falling object, Ezra Berg with a screwdriver, and Maya Pravati with a sniper, which is honestly a really, really interesting spin. Yeah, that's a really interesting one. But yeah, I think I will leave it at that. Check if anybody's online and give them a little raid. I do think there's a couple of players up. Like our favorite Mr. Buff guy. Who's practicing for the RWC Grand Final. We'll head over to him, send him some love. I think he has some underscores in his name, doesn't he? He does. The buff guy. But yeah. Send him some love. Thanks as well to Chrome, our admin, and for setting this all up and just an amazing idea of a, of a tourney. I really love it. I'll catch you soon for the next match, which hopefully will be very soon. So keep an eye on all those chats. Thank you.